6% IPA. Hey there, so today we have another review and this is a beer from Interboro. This is Premier, so their first canning, um, obviously this happened about uh, when they opened, so uh, less than a year ago, maybe six months ago, but this is Premier IPA 6%. This is the third batch, their second canning. Uh, really excited, let's dig in this beer. Um, really awesome brewery in East Williamsburg, so let's dig in. The beer is actually very pale, comes in a straw color, Barely any gold in there. It's really just like really light, uh, full on haze. Let's get the aroma on this one. By the way, as for the hops, uh, it offers Citra, Mosaic, and Galaxy, uh, brewed with Pilsner and Vienna malts. Pretty light on the aroma. Um, again, it's not like a huge juice bomb, but it really has really uh, a bright bouquet to it. A little bit of floral, a little bit of citrus, some lemon, a little bit of like orange peel. A little bit of like a nice kind of like gentle crackery sweetness in there. And then there is an underlying kind of expressive kind of fruit quality. Looking for them is actually very nuanced. So it's a little bit towards a grape, gentle melon, maybe leaning towards something like a lychee. Yeah, just really like just dancing in there. Cheers. <laughs> really nice. First thing it pops up is for me this beautiful kind of lemon Italian ice kind of flavor. Um, it's not sharply tart, but it is slightly seems a little acidic and just uh, pops on the palate, just like beautiful kind of like lemon leaning towards Meyer lemon kind of flavor. Um, you also get a beautiful melon quality dancing through. Uh, maybe some honeydew on this one. Reminds me of the original batch because it has that uh, beautiful melon quality. There is a little bit, not quite sweet tropical fruit, but again, a little bit of melon, a little bit of mm. <laughs> even a touch of kind of like a sprinkling of watermelon. It 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 it, it tastes summery. It tastes a little bit like your Capri Sun, but super watered down and then made into beer. It, it has these beautiful, like nuanced little like flavors in there. Capri Sun, I, I believe, has a little bit of cherry juice. It maybe there's a little pear in there. It just has this really bright um, flavor to it. It's not as intense as something like Capri Sun. Capri Sun is probably not the correct um, drink that I'm talking about, but I feel like I'm a kid again. There's something a little bit uh, <laughs> in there that reminds me of that. But in there, there is a beautiful uh, pale malt quality, a little bit of crackery uh, quality, really nice, 6%, really nice and crisp. On the back end, there certainly is a little bit of bitterness and then it moves on with a little bit of resin, a little bit of earthiness. So while I'm having this, I'm thinking I'm a kid again. I'm having that Italian ice you know, at the park. You grab that, uh, the guy scoops it up, and throws, some fr uh, throws some fresh, cut grass in there, sort of get this, maybe eat some crackers with it. That's in a beer, it's, it's just all those memories. There you go. The sweetness is nuanced. It pulls onto the malt quality um, as you wait a little bit more. A little bit of that flavor and then the bitterness cuts in. So it is a true crusher, 6%. Um, drinks really refreshing, doesn't really fatigue the palate too much. It really cleans up the palate with that bitterness uh, really wonderfully. So as for rating, let's go with something like 95 on this one. The good one about this one, or the thing I'd recommend, is that you let this one warm up a bit. Um, every, every degree as I'm going through this review, I'm getting a little bit more of that expression of the hops and that sweetness. And I already have this at a decent temperature, but let it warm up a little bit more, a little bit more. So actually, I'm going to push this one up to a 96. Until next time, guys, cheers. Absolutely delicious. Interboro is killing it. Please check them out. Later. Cheers. Ah. <sighs>